Welcome to the 12th Agony Anth, part of my collaboration with the Charles Darwin University Law Student Society. This week, I've been asked a question that pretty much affects us all. One of the first things you would have noticed after becoming a law student is that family and friends, especially family, will start to talk to you about their legal problems. Sometimes they might not be asking you for help directly. They might just assume, probably correctly, that you're now interested in legal stuff. Sometimes, though, they will ask you quite directly to give them legal advice, to give them a hand, or to express an opinion, perhaps, about advice they've received from their actual lawyer. I've lost track of the number of wills I've been asked to write, affidavits I've been asked to look over, contracts I've been asked to read for family members. And it's really easy to understand why family members do this. Families in our Western societies, and even more so in many other cultures, families are built on the idea of mutual dependence and reciprocity. Families are built on bad Christmas presents and a mutual commitment to help one another out from time to time, particularly when there's a crisis. If your lights go out and your cousin's an electrician, it makes sense to ask them for help. And then you give them a bottle of something for their time. It's just how families work. And so when a family member has a legal problem, it makes sense to them that the first thing they should do is call their family member who's a lawyer. If you've ever seen the great legal movie My Cousin Vinny, you will have seen the two young men put on trial in small town USA for a murder they didn't commit. Now, it's a murder charge. Wouldn't you go for the highest priced, most flashy criminal lawyer you could afford? No. They had a cousin who was a lawyer. Never mind that he only passed the bar exam six weeks ago because he was family. There really is a tendency for people in families to invest a lot of confidence in other family members. Saying no can therefore be really difficult because saying no goes against this whole cultural precept that family members help one another out. So what do you do? Well, the first thing to understand is that in every jurisdiction in Australia, there are specific laws against undertaking legal practice unless you are a legal practitioner. That means an admitted lawyer with a practicing certificate. As a student, if you're found to have practiced law without a certificate, this on its own will be enough to put your admission in peril. So the stakes are high. If you give this advice to a family member, you could be putting all your years of study at risk. Most family members have no idea that this is the case, and most decent, loving family members would never ask you to put your admission at risk if they knew that was the case. So very often, the way to say no is to explain that there is, in fact, a specific law that prevents you from doing what they're asking. In many cases, that'll be enough. Second, you have to bear in mind the nature of being a lawyer in Australia. Let's pretend for a moment that you were admitted. Part of being an admitted lawyer is that your first duty is to the court and not your client. As lawyers, we are not allowed to put our clients ahead of the court. In practice, this primary duty is what gives us the independence of mind, which is necessary if we are to be good lawyers. We represent our clients, but we do so from an impartial perspective. That way we can give them good, balanced advice. That impartiality is a lot harder to achieve when you're providing advice to a family member. It's a lot harder to tell someone you love that you think they're in the wrong. Imagine telling your favourite uncle that, in your view, the court's unlikely to let him spend time with his kids, for instance. It truly is a big ask. And if you can't be impartial, you just can't give them the right advice. Third, from a practical perspective, law firms carry insurance. Insurance is the most boring, most important thing there is. If you give legal advice to a family member and it all goes pear-shaped and they lose a bunch of money, then depending on the rest of the circumstances, you could be liable, personally liable, for those losses. And whilst we'd all like to think we wouldn't be sued by family members, the law reports are full of cases where that very thing has happened. Last but most certainly not least, remember that while you have much more knowledge about the law than Joe or Jane Average in the community does, compared to most lawyers in practice, you're not yet even quite at entry level. If these are family members that you love, do you really want them making serious legal decisions based on your level of knowledge? It's not a bad thing to recognise reality, 
You'll get to the point where your knowledge will be worth people paying money for. You're just not there yet, and that's okay. But it's a great reason not to go around giving legal advice. Hopefully that convinces you not to give family members legal advice. But you still obviously want to be helpful. What can you do? Well, there are things you can do. Probably the best thing you can do is to tell them the types of documents they're likely to need when they first go to see their lawyer. The more you know about their area of law and the more practical experience you've obtained during your studies, the more helpful you can be here. Second, encourage them to think carefully and to write down a bit of a story about the circumstances which take them to the lawyer and get them to think carefully about what they're hoping to get as a result. I can't tell you how many times in practice I've asked a client, okay, so what are you hoping will happen? What outcome are you looking for? And they often have little idea. If you help your family member to prepare to go see the lawyer, there's no danger that you'll be inadvertently giving legal advice, and you'll be helping them to make the most of their initial consultation with that lawyer. Saying no to family members can sometimes be really, really hard, but you simply don't have any choice. Be helpful, be loving, be supportive, but don't be their lawyer. I'll see you again soon.